Hey, welcome to A Moment to Move. My name is Garen and today we're going to be doing a movement workout. So we're going to be building strength by constantly moving. So when you're ready, meet me in a forward fold position in wherever your floor space is. We're just going to take a nice forward fold, bend into the knees and straighten and just sway the hips from side to side. Not too long here. Just opening up through the hamstrings. And from there, we're gonna walk our hands out. So maybe step back a little bit. And then we're just gonna open up the wrists as well as we step out, move them in and out, coming into a downward facing dog position. And from there, we're just gonna roll our spine nice and forward, coming over the wrists. Eyes and the elbows go forward, squeeze the glutes, and then just push the hips up and back back into that downward facing dog and we'll go for two and push it back this time we're going to roll forward and sink the hips down keeping the protraction in the shoulder blades sink the hips down coming into a nice upward facing dog and then roll it back into a downward facing dog and we'll go for two Squeeze the glutes when you get to the bottom. Stay on the toes, I'm stretching out through the thighs and the hip flexors. Tuck the navel to the spine, chin to the chest, and roll back. It's two, one more. Rolling forward, keep pushing into the ground with both your hands and your feet. Shoulder blades come down the back. Tuck the chin to the chest, and roll back. And even downward facing dog. So there's a lot of warm up done. You can just shake out the hands if you choose to and then from there we're just going to simply lower the elbows down coming into dolphin pose brief pause and then push into the hands at the same time raise the elbows up for downward facing dog and we'll go for 10 so two let the elbows touch the ground three let the eyes of the elbows spin as far forward as you can and move with the breath Six, seven, and working on the triceps, We're opening up the shoulders at the same time in that dolphin pose. Nine, try to raise the elbows at the same time. 10, from there we're gonna roll forward, coming back into that high plank, and then just lower the elbows down, coming into your forearm plank. So you want a gentle protraction in the shoulder blades, squeeze the glutes, and let the kneecaps rise up by toning the legs. From there I like to take a wider base with my feet. I'm going to stretch that right hand forward, lift it up off the ground, and then lift the left leg and lower back down. And we'll switch to the other side. A little bit of awkwardness here in our forearm plank. It's two. Extend through the spine, through the legs. Three. Keep bringing that navel to the spine. Try to keep the hips nice and low. It's challenging to talk in these positions. Five. Last one. Five. From there, we're going to walk the hands back under the shoulders and then push the hips up to a downward facing dog. From there, we're gonna raise that right leg up to the sky. We're gonna bring the left hand off and bring that right knee up into the right tricep. Just to challenge that balance a little bit more, create some strong shoulders and then push the leg back, place the left hand down, spin to the outside of the left foot and drop that left, that right foot behind it. Come into a wild thing, opening up here through the left shoulder Extend the right arm overhead, keep pushing into the ground. And then from there, we're gonna lower the hips down. Keep pushing into that left shoulder and pop back up. Let's call these wild thing push-ups. Two, squeezing the glutes at the top. Three, opening up through the side body. Four, Last one, five, J 
gentle hold and then from there we're going to lower all the way down to the ground I'm going to scoot back onto my mat and bring the right leg over the top of the left and try to stack the knees above each other here for half cow face now you want to extend through the torso on your inhale and exhale fold over the left leg and the right knee I like to flex the left toes and don't ask me why it's called half cow face I've never seen a cow in this position so if you do please send me a video or a photo on uh, my uh, Instagram page I'd love to see it and tuck that chin to the chest for a little bit more relief down the calf, hamstring and the lower back and on your inhale come back up place the left leg out straight bring the right leg down and bring your back down to the mat now you've got a bend in this right knee you're going to raise that left leg up to the sky and then you're going to push up into that right heel raising up the bridge raises on one leg now if this is a bit too much you always have the option of taking both legs down to the ground so there's four keep pushing in five and sort of bring the heel towards the glute squeezing and activating that thigh that hamstring seven eight nine last one Ten. Brief pause, lower back down, place the left leg out in front, come back up, place the left hand behind the left hip, place your toes down on the right hand on the right foot, and then open up the left ankle so you're on the outside edge of your left foot. And we're gonna push back up into that wild thing position. Squeeze the glutes at the top, slowly bring the right leg off and into your tricep, gaze to the top of the mat. And we're going to slowly but surely pivot the body and place the right foot alongside the left hand, rising up into a nice double bent leg press and lunge. From there, we're going to open up through the uh, open up through the collarbones by pulling the arms out into a T shape. And then from there, we're going to lean the chest forward, straightening the back leg, and then lower the hands as if they're pointing now down towards the ground. And on your inhale double bent leg lunge, shoulder blades onto the back, open up through the palms. So it's two, straighten out through that back leg, keep squeezing the thighs together, double bent leg lunge, three, keep hugging in that midline, stare straight forward at one point, if you want to create more balance, keep pulling the shoulder blades onto the back, it's four, five two more six i know your right thigh might be talking to you it's meant to that's why we're here seven rise back up straighten the both legs and place the hands down to the ground and then step that right foot all the way back to meet the left and we'll repeat the process on the second side so you might want to have, again, a little bit further apart your feet, so the right foot's a little bit further out to create more stability. And we're going to rise that left foot up and bring that right hand off the mat. Slowly come forward, bringing that left leg into the left tricep. Just for a little bit of awkward balance, right hand where you need it. Push back, place your right foot hand down, spin to the outside of the right foot and then bring those left toes down to touch outside of the right foot. Extend that left arm up overhead to stretch through that side body. And on your exhale, we we'll slowly lower the hips down and push back up. There's one, two, three. Keep pushing into the ground with that right hand. Four, five, nice and balanced, shoulder stacked over the hand, and then lower back down. You know, let's scoot a little bit further onto the mat 
and I'm gonna bring that left leg over the top of the right this time, coming into that half cow face. So flex the toes, inhale, lengthen through the body, exhale, gently fold over, flexing through the toes, stretching it all out. And again, you may wanna tuck that chin to the chest to create a little bit more length through the back fascia lines. You might feel a deeper stretch here through the calf, hamstring, and it's quite nice for the lower back. And we'll come back. This time, extend the right leg away, place the left foot down, and roll onto your backs. Now we're gonna bring that right leg up to the sky, and you again, lift up pushing into that left heel and lower back down again you have that option once again to place both feet down three and just working on the back and the midline and the glutes five six seven drag that calf that heel towards the hamstring to really Open it up. Last one. And we hold just briefly. And lower back down. Place the right leg out in front of you. Bring your body up. Again, roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Then you want to scoop onto the right hip just a little. Place the right hand down, create a nice solid foundation. Come onto the toes of the left foot and push yourself up. Rising once again into that wild thing. Create a nice, strong connection with the right hand. And you're gonna bring that left up nice and slowly. Gaze to the top of the mat and start pivoting the back foot onto the toes and step that left foot to meet the right hand. Nearly lost my balance twice there. So, um, again, so you're coming into this crescent lunge position. Take a nice double bent leg. So back legs bent as well, arms out into a T position, pulling the shoulder blades onto the back. And we're gonna lean forward, straightening out through the back leg. Lower the fingers down to point face the ground. And coming back into that double bent leg lunge. There's one. So we're building some back strength and some leg heat at the same time. Three. Keep that navel to the spine. Keep squeezing the thighs together. Five. Six. Last one. Seven. Rise back up. Straighten both legs. Place your hands to the ground and step back into a downward facing dog. And from there, we're gonna slowly drop the elbows back down to the ground and push into them. So we're sort of gonna start this class as two, three, so it's a downward to dolphin, and back to down dog. Five, let's we'll sort of start this class building heat the way we started. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands forward, roll forward, and then slowly lower down onto those elbows. And we'll work the core one more time. So you want to stretch right hand up, left leg up, place the elbow down. Again, you might want to walk the feet a little bit wider to create a bit of, better point of contact. Keep that forearm plank connection. It's two. Three, two more on each side, four, the last one, brief hold in forearm plank, and we'll lower the hips down to the ground, and then we're going to bring the elbows towards the hips, hips towards the elbows, shoulder blades down the back. And have the feet a little bit wider to protect the lower back. And we're just going to squeeze the glutes just gently. 
open it up into the sink suppose. Stretch out the core. We we'll made to work today, which was the idea. It was a movement workout after I say. It's quite nice to keep moving with repetitions, a few different transitions. Maybe challenged your balance, maybe it didn't. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear some feedback. And from there, we're gonna actually open up the feet. The knees a little bit wider and we're gonna sink them back into sort of a frog pose. So you wanna have the feet out into a, I'm not sure what the sort of direction it would be. So you want, instead of having your toes flexed, you wanna have them flaunted, I guess, pulled back towards you. And we're gonna sink the hips back. We're just gonna open up into the hip flexors a little bit. This is sometimes a little bit rough on the knees if you haven't got a mat underneath. So you may wanna place a t-shirt or a towel or maybe change directions on your mat. And then you can walk the arms out a little bit further to get into the shoulders. I like to come up onto my fingertips. Sink the chest to the ground. Tent the fingers. And then we'll come back up. Lean forward and bring your knees in slightly. And there we have it. Nice, quick, hopefully around 15 minute movement workout. It's got me sweating, so I hope you're doing the same and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we've built quite a lot of all round strength and we've moved in a few different directions and even had time to stretch out the body a little bit. So let me know how it was for you. Um, if you've enjoyed this workout, we have plenty of others on the channel, so feel free to check them out. All follow along style, me talking little less, little more in some of them. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. So let me know how it was for you. Feel free to hit that like button leave a comment in the section below and I'll surely catch you on the next one here in a moment to move. Thank you.